All right guys, we're out in the shop again today and we got another project. Let's do it. All right, so for today's project, this is what we got going on. The gantry that we built for one of the companies that we do a lot of work for called me up again and they want some sort of a basket built on the sides of the gantry so that they can store their packing material. They want to be able to store those little cardboard corner protectors. I've got a drawing here. It is quite busy, but I think I've got enough information here to try to make sense of it. It's all in metric, so I'm going to have to convert everything over. But I think I got it pretty much figured out. So we're going to go ahead, get a cut list going on, and then we'll go over to the saw and start cutting material. We're going to build this first set. If they like the way these work, they're going to have us build another gantry and another set of baskets all together. So we're going to see how it goes. Once these are built, we will have to go on site and weld them on there. So there's going to be both shop welding on this one and mobile welding. Should be a fun one. So let's go ahead and get after it. All right, so we got our drawing done here. You guys know I always like to do a drawing. I'm a visual type of guy, so I went ahead and drew the drawing up. You got your front view, side view, bottom view. The tricky thing about this one is you got to know where to cope on the bottom. So I've done all my calculations. You can see these marks right here. These are all calculations. So I've done my calculations and I think I've got it straight now. So we're going to go over to the saw, start cutting and see if we can't get all the parts cut. And hopefully the measurements I was given are correct. This is one of those scenarios where I get a little bit nervous just because when someone else gives me the measurements, if I waste the time to build it and it's not right, then what? So I would rather be the one that's responsible if something's wrong. So I would rather be the one that goes, takes the measurements and says, okay, this is what it needs to be. That way, if there is a mistake or discrepancies or anything like that, it's on me. We're just going to roll with it. We're going to trust them on this one. I'm actually making it just a little bit bigger. It's not going to matter if it's a little bit bigger, but I am going to make it just a little bit bigger so that I'm sure that the quantity of the corner protectors that they want in there will fit. One more thing. I don't think I got the flat bar for the top lip because on the top, I don't want angle because that angle is an inch wide. That makes the opening on the top smaller than we need it. So I'd rather use flat bar around the outside and then I'm gonna go ahead and tack every, every spike on the top of the expanded. I'll put a tack on and then I'll make sure that I buff it down so that there's no sharp edges so that nobody cuts themselves when they're getting it out. We need some eighth inch by one inch flat bar. Luckily for me, got a burn table. So we're gonna go ahead and burn the flat bar for the top lip and we'll end up using that. Should work slick as a whistle. That's the benefits of having nice equipment. So we'll go over to the saw and start cutting. Okay, so we got our parts cut. Now we need to start figuring out these copes, which shouldn't be too bad. We're going to use our little porta band. Shouldn't be too painful, should be pretty easy. Looks like we're just going to have to take 7 8 off. So I'm going to take a square and soapstone, mark all these, get them over there and cope them, come back over and check them.
I think we're ready to start fitting these. We're gonna weld them up with short arc, solid wire. We got our material prep all done for the most part. The long ones, I still have to knock the mill scale and the rust off on those other ones, but sometimes with a project like this, the material prep is the longest part. This is kind of one of those deals. I think this is gonna be a project that goes quickly once the material's all prepped. Now that I've got the material prepped, we'll start making tracks now. Alright, so I've decided what I want to do. I had a piece of this really small angle over on the rack. It's actually eighth by half angle. I could have swore that I asked them on the phone if they carried this and they said they did not. They said the smallest size they carried was three quarter. But that's funny because I'm sitting here looking at a piece of half. So maybe I'll call someone different. Maybe I just got somebody who doesn't know what they're talking about. I've got enough here to build this first one. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and build it. I don't know, maybe this is a tractor supply or Home Depot thing. Maybe that's where I can get it. So I'm gonna make the phone call tomorrow, but I'm gonna use it to build this first box. I think it's gonna work out perfect. Give it a nice finished look. It's gonna avoid anybody scratching himself or cutting himself when they're getting stuff out or putting it in. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these and then we'll go from there. Okay, so you can see it's a lot more narrow at the top. It'll make more sense once I get this all tacked up. But I like that. I think that's going to work out just dandy. So now I'm going to take and start tacking the next one up. And then we'll be able to start tying in our cross pieces to make it a box. So we'll go ahead and whip into warp mode and knock another one of these out. All right guys, so here's one of the baskets. So hopefully now you can see what I mean. So the bottom is just one inch angle. We're gonna fill all the dead space in with expanded metal, except for the top. They'll be able to shove their cardboard protective corners down through this. They should be able to fit four stacks. I believe it's five or six high. And they did give me one, so I'll be able to calculate and measure and check so this is kind of what I was going for this is going to cover the end of the expanded just barely so that when they if they have to reach in here or when they're putting it away or pulling it out then they're not scratching or cutting themselves and it gives it a nice finished look so we'll probably get that one done tomorrow I'm gonna stop by tractor supply on my way home from work see if they've got some more of this we should be able to get it done if they do so that's probably gonna wrap it up for tonight. I gotta go in the house and eat dinner and go to work in the morning. So that'll wrap it up for tonight. We'll get back with you tomorrow. I did pick up a piece of this angle that I was looking for. So 
I'm hoping that I'll be able to get this one welded out and cleaned up get the other one fit up welded out and cleaned up and possibly start cutting our expanded so that we can start fitting these pieces now I'm probably gonna have to cut that with a zip disc not a big deal it goes pretty fast I know a lot of you are thinking you really need to get one of those Milwaukee metal cutting saws and you'd be right and I will one of these days but pretty much maxed out my credit on other expenditures so gonna have to make some more money pay that off so I can afford a Milwaukee metal cutting saw so we'll go ahead and start welding this out I'm gonna roll it into time-lapse mode we'll weld this out start cleaning it up and then we'll move over to fitting up the next one I don't think there's any reason you guys need to watch me fit the next one. You guys have already pretty much seen how I did this one. Second one's exactly the same. So we'll get them both to this point and then we'll start moving over to cutting our expanded and I'll give you guys an update. <laughs> guys so we got the frames done so now that the frames are done we're ready to cut this probably gonna get to that tomorrow my main goal was to get these done tonight so I'm happy with that so tomorrow we'll be cutting expanded welding it in and hopefully knocking those out tomorrow all right guys so we got our expanded up here on the forks the way I want to take these measurements is I don't want them stuffed clear in the corner like super tight I'd rather hold them back a little bit from the corner it'll give us more room to tack them and it's gonna be kind of a challenge to get that last piece in here I'm trying to decide how I want to do that three sides are gonna be great they'll be easy no problem that fourth side once it gets put on it's gonna be tough getting it tacked into place so I'm trying to decide which one I want to do last we'll see first one's the worst one so we'll go ahead and start taking measurements lay this out and I'm just gonna cut it with a cutoff wheel <laughs> so we got that stuff all cut so that's all the expanded cut for both baskets that was the drop that was left but that's about all we're gonna get done tonight I had some other stuff going on guy at work super good guy on our team was retiring so kind of made him a little going away gift so I was a little busy getting that done tomorrow night we should get those tacked in and we should be good so we'll catch up with you tomorrow 
All right, guys, we're back out here tonight, and we're hoping to get these baskets finished up tonight. So we got this first one up on the table. This expanded's just sitting down in there. So I'm gonna go through and trim where I need to trim so that it sits flush. So we'll see if we can't get these knocked out. This is not gonna be extremely fascinating to watch. So we'll go ahead and go into warp mode and see what we can get done. guys I'll show you this basket this one's all but done there is a little bit left to do I don't know if you guys can see you can see how far I got the tacks on the inside but I've got like from here to here left to do that I can't reach from inside so my plan is to grab some 6010 snake it through there and hopefully then we'll be able to get it finished out. So that's all that's left on this one. I am gonna have to call it tonight. I got a softball game to get to. So we're gonna call it a night and we'll see if we can't get this wrapped up tomorrow. All right guys, we're back at it tonight. We're gonna try to finish this one up. So I've got the trailblazer over here. We're gonna go ahead and let the trailblazer eat for a little bit. It's been a couple weeks, so it'll be good for it to run anyway. We're running 332 60 10, so we'll see how that goes. The reason I'm not using 7018 is because I don't want to sit and have to chip the slag off the end. 60 10 just starts a lot quicker, so it'll be easier to just hit little tacks on it. So we'll see if we can't knock this one out, then we're going to roll over to the next one and do the same process. Now, once this is done on Monday, I did schedule to go over and get these welded onto the gantry. We'll have that going on Monday. I do have another mobile job coming up. I got a basketball hoop I got to repair. All right, we'll go ahead and start the welder, let it warm up and see if we can't get this one done. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. They're all done now. I did nick the expanded there, so a couple little whoopsies there, but no big deal. So that's one down. So now we're gonna throw it in time lapse. We'll go ahead and knock the other one out, and then they'll be ready to weld on. We'll see if we can't knock this other one out. Just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how
All right, guys, we got these all fit up, all welded out. So now all that's left to do is to haul them up to the site and get them welded onto the gantry. So we'll end up loading up the Trailblazer. I currently don't have a truck at the moment, so I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna get up there and weld this out. We'll figure that out. Little Red might have to uh, support the weight of the Trailblazer just to run up there and weld these out. So that's about all we got left to do here in the shop. The next phase, we'll go ahead and get these welded out. So we'll catch up with you when we get up there. All right, guys, we're over here at the customer's place. We're just getting ready to weld these baskets on. We've got one set here. Jordan, he's gonna help us fit these baskets today. So we'll go ahead and get these set up. We're gonna go into time-lapse and just kind of rush through this, but just so you guys know what we're doing, we'll get these welded up and then we'll give you guys a look when we're done. guys we got those baskets welded on just got to clean these welds up a little bit Slag off. we just did the three welds on the frame there so that should hold them so we got those done okay so that's gonna wrap those up big thanks to Jordan for helping us out out. It's always nice to have a second hand. So when they when they give me a helper when I come down, it's always it's always a big help to me. You guys keep your eyes peeled for the next video and remember to like, subscribe and share and we'll see you on the next one. So there's going to be a little bit of shop work on this one as well as a little bit of mobile work. And I don't want it sticking on the inside because that takes from the the opening on the top that deducts that makes the 